Hi, this is Damon Tennant from www.mygedlive.com. Uh, and today I want to talk with you about the GED math. The GED math test is a test that most people uh, have trouble with in terms of preparing to take the GED exam. And so today I'm going to talk about three key areas that you need to understand and understand how they inter interrelate in order to be successful on the GED math test. The first area I want to talk about is the skill area. For example, with fractions, you just simply need to be able to do the skill of one third plus three sevenths, as an example. You simply need to be able to do that type of skill. That's the skill. But on the GED test, this is not what you're going to see. They're not going to test you on your ability to do that. So the second piece of the puzzle here that we're talking about is the word problems. The word problems are, for example, uh, Peter added one-third cup of sugar and three-sevenths cup of flour to his recipe. What was the total amount of dry good that he added to his recipe? So the word problem, you need to be able to interpret that word problem back down to the skill. So because they asked for the total amount of dry good that Peter added to his recipe, then that means that we're going to have to add. So that's the second part, being able to interpret uh, uh, the word problem back down to the skill. So we're going to just do this fraction here quickly. Uh, the lowest common denominator is uh, 21. 7 goes into 21 three times. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 goes into 21 7 times. 7 times 1 is 7. 7 plus 9 is 16 all over 21. So the skill, knowing how to do what I just did, how to add a fraction that has different denominators. Number two, being able to take a word problem, Peter adding dry goods to his recipe and finding out the total amount of those dry goods. And then the third piece on the GED test is the multiple choice because you are going to have five different options. So one of your options is going to be the correct answer, 1621s, and let's just say that's number four. Then you're going to have a few options that are totally out of the picture. One is going to be, let's see, one cup. Another is going to be one and a half cup. But then you're going to have another uh, possibility in one of those questions that will be a misinterpretation of the word problem to the skill. So for example, if you misinterpret it that to be an addition fraction and you misinterpret it to be a subtraction fraction, uh, three goes into 21 seven times, seven times one is seven, seven goes into 21 three times, three times three is nine, nine minus two, is 221s. So one of those answers is going to be a misinterpretation of the word problem. And this is where many people miss. Because if you misinterpret the word problem, you may have done the steps correctly. We did here together just now the steps correctly. So this problem is correct, but it's incorrect because it does not answer the question of the total amount of dry goods. This answers the question of how much more uh, flour than sugar did Peter use? This is the answer to the question of the total amount of dry goods that Peter put in his recipe. And another question could be, another uh, possibility could be something in here, somewhere in between. So if you're guessing and you're in the ballpark, you might try that because maybe it's some, it, it looks like it could be right. Skill, interpretation of word problems, and multiple choice. I will come back to you with another video to direct you on interpretation of word problems, but in the meantime, please do go to www.mygedlive.com. I am offering a free lesson on fractions. It includes a full fraction video, a worksheet, and it also includes uh, GED practice test questions so you can apply what you've just learned here. 
Look forward to working with you and looking forward to hearing from you this week.